Hi, I'm Marilyn San Clemente of Stamp with Marilyn and welcome to my creative playground. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty fun fold cards that have, whoops, this one's on upside down, that have these really pretty belly bands on them. This one I have used the Sophisticated Sled and the Elegant Seasons designer paper in green and I love that sled. I just love that. Um, for this piece, I wanted to have something where people could write. I could have made this just a little bit wider, but I didn't want to lose the effect of that green. So I did do that. But you could do this whole piece in white if you wanted to. So that's the four and one eighth. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the belly bands and everything too. This one is really pretty. This is using the Elegant Seasons, the red paper. And I used the Shepherd's Caring uh, stamp set, which I love. I love the sheep and the shepherd on that. And then one of my favorite sayings, and I think that this saying retired, but I'm not sure. And then I added the gold stars to this. So this is actually a pretty simple, quick and easy card to make. And I'm going to show that to you today. So you're going to start with a piece of cardstock and you're going to cut that to five and a half by 11, so the long way. And then you want to cut a second piece for the belly band. Belly bands, I like to use one and a half. You can make it two if you want a really, really wide one, or if you want a narrow one, you can make it one inch but I'm cutting mine at one and a half. So um, this will be my belly band and this will be my card front. And then we're going to score that card front at four and a quarter. Oops, seven inches. and nine and three quarters. There we go. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our bone folder, whoops, and we're going to fold this piece in. So this is four and a quarter. So this is going to be the back base of the card. And so we're going to do a mountain valley fold. So it will look, here's your mountain, and there's your valley. And what I want to do is like really crease these. There we go. And we can flip this one over and crease that. There we go, okay. And now what you're going to do is choose a paper. So what I've chosen today is the Golden Greenery paper, which I really, really love. It's got a vanilla background, and then it's all just different shades of green, and it's just really, really pretty. You can use it for Christmas. It can be used for fall. It actually can be used for any season. So let me show you what I'm going to do with this. And what I've done is I've cut some designer paper pieces. Oops, and I cut that a little bit too big. So I need to trim a smidge off of this. So that first piece is going to be one and an eighth by five and a quarter, but it looks like one and an eighth might be too much. So I'm gonna cut just a tad off of that. Like, a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, there we go. So you need to measure your piece. You may not, you know, if you cut the, if you start with one and one eighth, you may need to just trim it a little bit. It just depends upon how you did your measuring and where your fold falls. So that will work there. I like that. So I'm just using my seal. There we go. Okay, and then the next one 
next layer is going to be, I believe that's two and five eighths by five and a quarter. So I'll just attach that. Okay, and this last layer, depending upon what color you're using, so for example, I used green on this card, so I did put this white piece on there, so I would actually look at making another white piece that is two, two and a half inches wide, and then it will hide, so you'll still get that green effect, but um, um, it just depends upon what the background color of your card is. So this one, you don't necessarily need to put anything. Okay, so for the background, I'm just going to put this on. So this is five and one quarter by four and one eighth. There we go. Okay. And there we go. So there is our finished piece. Obviously it has not been decorated. So you could decorate here, you can decorate here if you want. Um, you can decorate the front. And so to make the belly band, you want another piece that is one and a half to two inches by 11, and you can make it the width that you want. So I'm going to put this here. And what you want to do is you want to make that belly band a little bit loose. You don't want to make it tight because then you won't be able to, to get it off easily. And you want people to be able to get it on and off. So what I like to do is just do this very loosely. And then put this together like this. Okay, and then I would use some label dies, you know, whatever I'm going to put on this front. This wreath would be gorgeous on the on this card. Use some label dies and go from there. And then typically what I do is to hide this seam is I do put this piece over. So this is one and one eighth and the front of the card is four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that to four inches. There we go. Okay, so that covers up that seam. And then I would put some type of a label. Um, like I said, this wreath would be gorgeous on that. Um, that would be perfect. Or the swag from this. If you wanted to do something really large, you could do the sled, something like that. The sled's this, so that would be about this big but it would cover up more of the front. So it just depends upon what you want your message to be. You could also just put a message on there as well, like this. Tidings of comfort and joy, something like that. So so this is our trifold card. And these are one of my favorite cards to make. I really, really love these cards. So thanks for stopping by and checking out my cards. And I will... See you soon. Take care.